Hi, my name is Nick Nadaf. I'm a specialized solutions architect with Microsoft Platform Team. Today, I'll be showing you how to build Alexa Skill using C Sharp and AWS Lambda. So let's get started. Here, as you see on the screen, the steps that I'm gonna follow to build Alexa Skill. But before, I need to show you uh, the skill architecture, and then we're gonna go to set up uh, an account or use the account for Amazon Dev Portal. Uh, next one, it's gonna be uh, talking about the AWS Lambda function used to support the Alexa skill. The fourth step is to connect between the skill that we created in the portal and then the AWS Lambda. And the last thing is after we we're done, we need to test our skill to, see, to make sure it's actually doing what we expect, expect it to do. First, this is how the skill is architected. First, the user asks a question and the skill matches that question with intent. And the skill then sends the intent to either custom endpoint, HTTP endpoint, or to uh, AWS uh, Lambda function. I'm gonna be using here uh, AWS Lambda function. So the Lambda function has the data. It takes the intent and returns the uh, relevant response. The last step is the echo speaks back the response to the user. So now we need to have an account in uh, Amazon Dev Portal in order to start configuring the Alexa skill. So we're gonna go to developer.amazon.com and then we're gonna go to uh, Alexa console and start actually creating and configuring our skill. In in AWS Lambda function is actually where we put our code. This is gonna be where we uh, inter uh, interpret the appropriate interaction, like uh, you know what kind of commands I'm sending to Alexa skill, what's gonna be the next command, when I'm gonna be asking for help, you know, the other stuff that we need to tell Alexa skill to handle. But before we need to create this AWS Lambda function, and then we need to actually check some data to connect it with, with the uh, uh, AWS Lambda function. One of it is we have to, to configure the trigger, which is gonna be the Alexa skill kit. Here, when we go to the uh, dev portal, and then we get the uh, skill that we built in a step uh, one, and we, we connect the endpoint of the Alexa skill with the Lambda, AWS Lambda function by using the ARN of Lambda function. Last thing, here when we go to the tab of testing the Alexa skill, we start actually typing the commands or saying the, the command using the microphone and we see how the Alexa skill is gonna be interacting with uh, typing or the voice commands that, um, that we're sending. Now, we're gonna go to the dev portal, Amazon dev portal, and start actually uh, building our skill. We go to Alexa section, here as you see on the main page, and we're gonna go to the top one, your Alexa consoles, and select the skills. In this page, we're gonna see a list of all Alexa skills that we built before. And there is a button here to create a new one. So in order to create a new one, you need to click the Create Skill button. You need to provide uh, a skill name and the default language. And you can add, you know, model to your, to your skill, uh, selecting by default the custom one. And uh, I'm not gonna go through these steps because I already built the Alexa skill, but that's what you're gonna do in order to create uh, a new skill. I'm just gonna try to show you quick how to create one. And the second step is to select or choose the template that you're gonna be using for your skill. Uh, I'm gonna start with the, you know, start from scratch and then you create it and then you get here to the page where you need to configure your new Alexa skill. Here I'm gonna show you what I've built for the demo, which is called uh, AWS Facts. Uh, just a simple Alexa skill to show and uh, you know speak about AWS Facts. 
So those are the steps here on the right side that you need to configure in order to make your skill done. So the first thing is the invocation name, uh, how you can invoke the skill using uh, Alexa. And the second one is when you start adding and handling the built-in intent and your custom intent. So here uh, I've used new custom, two new custom intents. The first one is when I'm gonna call the Alexa to give me uh, AWS facts. So I'm gonna have two commands here, give me AWS fact or AWS fact. Then the second one is when I want to ask for a new fact. So I can say, tell me a new AWS fact or just simply new AWS fact. And here I see list of built-in intent that provided by Alexa uh, programming model. Uh, I'm gonna show you later when we start checking the AWS Lambda function, how we're gonna handle those intents in the code. The last one or the second one, next one is the interface. How can I uh, start connecting interface between the, the scale that I'm working with other things like the audio player, uh, video, if you are actually using uh, Echo Spot. And the uh, next one is the endpoint. This is actually the core of building Alexa scale. This here where you connect your AWS Lambda with your uh, new Alexa skill. You're gonna be using the Alexa skill ID in Lambda function. Later, I'm gonna show you this. And then you're gonna use the AWS Lambda ARN with your Alexa skill. And the next tab, uh, you can here uh, see uh, the history of your uh, you know, calls or how many times your Alexa skill is called and what kind of intents are uh, used in, in this in this skill. So now I'm gonna show you the uh, AWS Lambda function used to support uh, the new uh, Alexa skill. So I'm gonna go to AWS console, select the function, and here, this is the function that is actually supporting uh, Alexa skill I showed you before. So the key here is when you create a Lambda function, to support your Alexa skill, you have to select a trigger, and this trigger should be the Alexa skills kit, as you can see on the screen. And here you're gonna add the skill ID that you got from the dev portal when you create a new skill and attach it in this screen to connect your uh, Alexa skill a trigger with your AWS Lambda function. So now how I'm going to be coding this uh, uh, AWS Lambda, I'm going to show you now using Visual Studio. You're going to use uh, AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio to create a new serverless application or just simple Lambda function. As you can see here on the screen, I have single project and I have the function uh, file which is going to be showing you know, the uh, AWS Lambda function. Here, as you can see on the screen, I have a skill request as an input, and I have to prepare and build the skill response to uh, handle the response for the Alexa skill. Of course, I'm gonna put here some lines of code to put uh, logs so I can in debug my uh, AWS Lambda before I make sure it's, it's working properly. And I start actually building the response and here is I'm checking the intent or the intent request to make sure what kind of commands I'm getting from Alexa and I'm what's supposed to be the response. So as you can see, I'm handling the built-in intent, the cancel, the stop, the help, and uh, later I'm gonna be handling my new intent, uh, get fact and get new fact. So, those two, they're gonna get uh, the text or the information from this method where I can just randomly uh, send uh, AWS fact to the, uh, the echo, to user, to be uh, you know, played. So here the list of uh, hard-coded facts. Of course, you can get this information from any database or any other source, but just I'm showing you here, just for simplicity, I wanna show you like hard-coded uh, response or text that's gonna be played by Alexa. 
once I once I finish here uh, the uh, coding uh, using Visual Studio, I can deploy or update the Alexa or AWS Lambda function by just going to the project and right click on the project and publish to AWS Lambda. Once I'm done, I can go to AWS Explorer where I can, you know, double click and actually I can test here from the AWS Lambda perspective, how the Lambda function is gonna be uh, working to support the skill. So if I select the Alexa start session as an input, and I click on the invoke button, now I'm supposed to get the output, and I can make sure that the AWS Lambda function is returning the response that I'm looking for. So here, as you can see, here is your fact, Amazon Aurora, is fastest growing and if I go to the source code, I can show you this is part of resources that I'm trying to send to user when calling the AWS Alexa skill. AWS Aurora, this is the part that I see. So in this way now, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the AWS Lambda function. I'm sure that AWS Lambda function is gonna be returning what I'm expecting to get from the, this function. Okay, now I'm done with the AWS Lambda function. I deployed uh, the code. So I have now uh, AWS Lambda function uh, ready. So I'm gonna go to the top screen and select the A uh, ARN, copy it, and then go to Alexa skill, going to the Amazon Dev Portal. Here where I'm gonna be connecting the AWS Lambda function with uh, Alexa skill. So uh, first of all, I have to put this for the default region that's required. And uh, I can put uh, optional one for North America, but just only be careful here. If I wanna put for the Europe and India or the Far East, I'm gonna be using different region for AWS Lambda function because now I'm using North America region. So if I wanna add uh, the ARN for Europe, India and Far East, I'm gonna have to deploy the same AWS Lambda function that I built before to different regions to support the, the skills here. So once I'm done here, now the AWS Lambda function is connected with the Alexa skill. So whenever Alexa skill or the uh, Echo device receiving your commands, it's gonna be calling your AWS Lambda function and then getting the response back to the user. So now going to the last step where I need to test my new skill. So uh, here on the same uh, page of uh, the skill in Dev Portal, I'm gonna go to the test tab. Here I can actually test the skill by just using a voice command or I can just type it, type the commands. I'm gonna use the second option. I'm gonna ask it to open the AWS um, fact skill. Here's your fact. Amazon DynamoDB handles well over a trillion requests per day and trillions of requests per month. So if I'm gonna test now the new in intent that I built, I'm gonna ask. More than 100,000 AWS customers use Amazon DynamoDB. So we have now two responses coming from Alexa Skill. If you remember, we go back to the code, we're gonna see all of both of them here as part of the resources that I'm showing uh, to user when calling this skill. Goodbye. And this is actually the stop command that I'm, 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 I'm getting from Alexa skill. If I show you in the code, I'm asking for the stop command to send goodbye. Of course, you can send something else, but just to show you here, every intent is called or actually uh, played based on what you put in your AWS Lambda function. So in this video, you learn how to build Alexa skill using C-Sharp and AWS Lambda. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.